Great delivery from Dilshan. Hackney squared up, finds the edge. Just to get in and bat big. This time off the pads and a beautiful shot from Ryan Hackney. He jogs the first one. He doesn't have to run the rest. That's the way to the mid-wicket boundary for four. And Seeker comes in again here. Hackney flicks one into the leg side. A quick single. Good bit of fielding. Oh, no. It's a misfield. There's going to be overthrows here. It looks like it'll pull up just inside the boundary. No, it's got there. So there'll be five runs to Ryan Hackney. A little clip off the pads to mid-wicket. Start of the eighth over here. Spores on strike. Angling back in. Beautifully punched off the back foot behind point. And that's going to race around to the boundary. Four runs for Spores. Short delivery. Spores gets on the back foot and pulls it straight to the man at short mid-wicket. Spores departs for, for 12. It's a big appeal. Hackney play and miss, according to the umpire, through to the keeper. Just back the length and crown cuts through through the slips and through the gully for four. Lucky that didn't go to hand. It was good effort by the third slip. Performances for New South Metro uh, in the under-17 championships in the same year. So, A flashing drive there between gully and points. Races away to the boundary down at third man. Ryan Hackney, if you pull up his individual innings either. 300s, 350. No, there it goes. A slashing oh. drive wide outside the off stump. We put the muzzer on him. Flashy, and that's out. Parama Pal, one too many cover drives. Dean Dober. Oh, it's squared up, Sanger. Shout from the bowler. Delivers the ball. Well driven by Sanger through point. And that could race away for four. And it does. Great shot by Sanger. Delivers the ball now. Sanger well played. Great defence to uh, short cover there. That is over and that'll be lunch. The bat tucked under the arm here from the two Australians. Played a good role here. Lost of three wickets early. Jason Sanger and Jack Edwards, both from New South Wales, have come together. They're both unbeaten here at the lunch break. Sanger on nine, Edwards on 11. The Australians three for 70, and we'll be back after a short break. Sanger's driving. This one should go to the boundary. What a lovely shot through the cover, the vacant cover region, in all regards. Edge there. That'll run away for four. So there's still a bit happening out there with the ball for the Sri Lankans. Mighty effort. Early on, as we see, the appeal for LVW. Yeah. Again, advances. Gets a whole heap of that one. And that'll go straight to the ropes there. Prasad now. And Sanger comes forward. Finds the gap there through the covers off the front foot. The ball is racing away to the fence. And right on cue there. Just rocks onto the back foot. One bounce, two bounces over the ropes, four runs. Oh, shot. Sanger loves a drive. That'll go for four as well. That's 12 runs from the over. What an over for the Australians. If yeah. you finish school, what, what have you got on going outside? Shot. As Jason Sanger goes big, long, over mid on. And that's a maximum. All of our bats. Batsmen are, are capable of playing. Top edge from Jason Sanger. Keeper underneath it. And holds the catch. A big wicket for Sri Lanka. The short ball does the trick. Not for the first time today. The Kingbra Knights. As Edwards is back and cutting, that'll go for four. Or will it? No, that will definitely go for four. Stilshan fires in now. Down the leg side. Has he got a tickle on that? going to be four. Wait for the umpire's call here. Edward struck on the pad. It's a loud appeal. And not given by the umpires. Slashing dry from Edwards. He won't have to run those. In between cover and point. All the way to the fence. Thing and a better cricketers for the experience. Dilshan to Merlo. There's a big shout. And not out again. Might have pitched outside leg. Might have just been a little bit high as well. 
All in all, I think um, what I've seen at the, the national carnivals and those that have been um, in and around the group the last few years have, have shown some real promise. So they're going to stick with what he feels works the best. And um, yeah, uh, look, it's an interesting concept. Um, yeah, I don't think he should be uh, playing around with it too much during the the final uh, balls of the session as he didn't. So. So that's the end of the over from Mendes. Jack Edwards bringing up his 50 in that over. We've now got the tea break with Australia at 4th, 160. Edwards unbeaten on 50. Jonathan Merlo unbeaten on 13. Thanks for joining us, Graham. Back of a length and beautifully cut by Jonathan Merlo. He won't have to run those all the way to the boundary for four. Mendes in again here. This one shorter. Merlo punishes him in front of square. That'll go. That's going to beat the fieldsman all the way to the fence for four. That's a lovely shot there from Jonathan Merlo. Just rock back. Oh, and Jack whips that over wide bit on for four. Lovely shot. Yeah. Oh, shot. Has a, uh, plays a lofted, lofted hook shot over the boundary there for, I think it's four runs? Yeah, four runs. Mendes, of course, the uh, left and right. Oh, what a shot from Jack Edwards. That... Edwards. Oh, I've just put the moz on him. Commentators, ki- oh. Edwards is sweeping. That'll go. That'll go for four. That's a really good shot from Jack Edwards. Edwards is sweeping again. And that is, oh, is that an opportunity? Yep. First grade this year yeah. in Penrith. He's got onto got that. That'll be four more. Down sweeping. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, first grade in um, Sydney. So that was a good experience up against the men. Yeah, beautiful. He's in again. Oh. He's, where is that going? At six. That is indeed six. That's gone a long way back. Maximum. Boy, a goater in. Merlo down the wicket and over mid off for... Nolan win it, but fortunately didn't happen as Merlo cuts behind point for four. That's a lovely shot. It's a bit short there from the bowler. Daniel. Southern end. Big shot from Edwards over the top of mid on. Plugs just inside the boundary. One bounce for four. Boyagoda to continue from around the wicket. Nicely tucked off the hip by Jack Edwards. And that will be his century. A brilliant knock from the young New South Wales all-rounder. His teammates stand to applaud on the boundary. An embrace with teammate Jonathan Merlo. Magnificent innings. Jack Edwards raising the bat there. And there's a wicket, a magnificent knock from Jack Edwards comes to an end. Dilshan coming in, Merlo down the wicket. And he's launched that one over the boundary. It's short, dropped down at his feet. Sutherland gets through at the non-striker's end and that's a century for Jonathan Merlo. A magnificent knock, brings it up with a little single into the offside and a big raise of the bat to his teammates. A magnificent century, 109. Trent Seeker comes in again. Sutherland on the ground, run out chance, and he's gone. A good bit of fielding there from the man at cover. Had plenty of time to line up the stumps. Selfless batting from the skipper midway through the 80th over. Acknowledgement from Merlo to his teammates there. Raises the bat as he comes off. Ooh, that is quick. Played down to the boundary, in fact. It's come off. That's rocketed off the bat across this outfield. Oh, oh. Billy out. <laughs> it's just dropped short. There's a... Sadly, comes in from his marathon run. 
That's caught the outside edge. Yes, that's got him. That is an absolute peach. Two slips. More watchfully played around the corner by Boya Goda. It's going to go for four, I think. Yes, it's just got there. Last ball of the day there, going for four. Sri Lanka finishing the day's play on one for 38. In reply to Australia's six declared. Well, that's that's all from today's today's play. Mitch Perry, thank you very much for... No for worries, thanks for having me. Box today, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Game starting at 9.30.